This woman apparently being taken against her will by China's newly deployed quarantine squads. A man also pulled from the apartment, forcibly taken down the stairs. Across China, disturbing videos on social media appear to show the extreme measures taken to control the outbreak. Here, workers in hazmat suits detain a young couple, putting them into a metal box. A child's voice asks why. The adult answers because they're sick. And you can hear the screams. Earlier this week, the government in Wuhan released an edict. Roundup suspected coronavirus cases, and if the person refuses to cooperate, it said, public security shall enforce. I can tell you that for any Chinese citizens watching those videos is that, number one, they do not, they will not want to come into communication or contact with, with health authorities. As the Chinese government scrambles to contain the virus, the U.S. Embassy in Beijing confirms the first American death, a 60-year-old who died in Wuhan. Meanwhile, flights carrying more Americans from Wuhan arrived in the U.S. last night and passengers are quarantined at military bases in California, Texas and Nebraska. The State Department says a total of 800 Americans have been evacuated from the city so far and no additional flights are planned. In New Jersey, passengers on a cruise ship with dozens of Chinese nationals on board undergoing testing. And back here in Hong Kong, there are new, stricter border controls in place. And docked in the city's main harbor, passengers on the World Dream cruise ship are still undergoing testing. Are you okay? Off the coast of Tokyo, the number of coronavirus cases on board the Diamond Princess continues to rise. Incrementally getting more terrifying. And personally, um, you know, we realize we're at pretty high risk. And Molly joins us now from Hong Kong. Molly, how many people have actually been tested on that cruise ship off the coast of Tokyo? Right, Jose. So there are 3,700 people on board. They've only tested about 300. Of those, a quarter have tested positive, including 13 uh, Americans. So we really have no sense how many people might actually be sick.